Hello, I'm Ricky Lee, and today on The Watchlist, I'm joined by Stephen A. Brown, CEO of Orcadian Energy. The company and its partner, Independent Power Corporation, recently presented a low-carbon gas-to-power project, an important showcase for Orcadian's commitment to lower-emission energy development. It's a major stage for the company and a clear sign of its growing international profile. Stephen, welcome to The Watchlist. Thank you. Nice to see you, Ricky. Lovely to have you here. So tell us, Stephen, your partner, Independent Power Corporation, presented at ADIPEC last week. What did that mean for Orcadian and its role in the project? Right. Well, our Earlham gas field is the reason why uh, we're partnering with IPC. And they have another partner called the Marine Low Carbon Power Company. Really good 18th century names. Really good. Uh, and they have designed an offshore platform with integrated carbon pack capture that generates power from gas offshore. And the Earlham field is actually a bit of an unusual field in the Southern North Sea. It's a great reservoir. Uh, in fact, reservoirs as good as this have typically been developed 20 odd years ago. But there's a different thing about it, which is it's got 50% CO2 in the gas. So what you have to do is you have to produce the gas try and separate off some of that CO2, put the rest of the methane and the CO2 into the power generators. Then we capture all the CO2 that's produced, combine it with that pre-combustion CO2 and re-inject it back into the reservoir. That does two things for us. First of all, it maintains pressure in the reservoir, which enhances gas recovery, but it also captures all of the CO2 and puts it underground. So we can actually deliver clean dispatchable power and if you ha haven't noticed that's that's the holy grail everyone wants clean dispatchable power you can get clean unreliable power from wind and solar <laughs> or you can get reliable um, not so clean power from coal and gas clean reliable power is really hard to find so the presentations at Adepec really laid out the way forward for this. We'd bring the power down past the Norwich, the bottleneck and the grid in Norwich, and we'd be selling the gas to data center operators. So we call this not, not a gas to power strategy. We call it a gas to artificial intelligence strategy. Okay. So Orcadian holds a lot of viscous oil within its licensed portfolio. How do you see those resources being developed over time? So uh, we started our business with our viscous oil business and uh, we have the pilot oil field, it's a pretty big oil field, it's 80 million barrels recoverable and we're carried for our 18.75% interest in that by our partner Ping. That's actually our ideal deal. Our ideal deal is to get a license from the government, make a license application for an existing discovery come up with a good development plan, bring a partner in and be carried all the way to first oil or first gas. We don't mind which. Right. So you also acquired a company with no license late last year. What was the thinking behind that move? Well, um, that company is called Halo and we actually share it with IPC, our other partner. When we bought it, it had no licenses, as you said. So why did we buy it? Uh, we didn't buy it for the licenses. We didn't have any. Uh, it has some very good information on the Pegasus and Andromeda gas fields in the Southern Basin because historically it has participated in two exploration wells there. But the history is actually the key. The history, actually it's the fiscal history that mat matters. Uh, and that gives the entity a fiscal advantage when it's combined with a producing asset. So that's hugely beneficial. And our plan is to try and crystallize some of that value for Arcadian shareholders by combining Halo's fiscal history with some producing assets. And that's what we're busy working on just now. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Stephen. It's been a pleasure, Ricky. So that was Stephen A. Brown, CEO of Orcadian Energy. For more on the company's low carbon initiatives and project portfolio, visit orcadian.energy. That's all for this episode of The Watchlist. I'm Ricky Lee. Make good choices today.